Hey Lucas, this time I would like to show you my program counter, which is made out of eight toggle flip flops. The first thing you see is the older version, which has red LEDs, and the new one are made with green LEDs and eight of it. So the so they can address up to 246 address lines which I'm currently building and yeah this this program counter can also be jumped with an with an add with an 8 bit address of course oh no with an 8 bit sorry, <laughs> sorry. with an 8 bit address yeah, and this jump thing is needed f later f for the software I'm implementing right now. And the jump, of course, is for jumping between the lines and forward and backward. Of course, it is needed for loops, for for loops and while loops. And of course for the if else structure in this in this small video now you can see the older version which is which is powered by an Arduino I mean the, the clock signal comes from an Arduino and which is feeded over the green LED into the four binary counters and the re and, and the yellow LEDs are the output of course. Now we have the newer version which is made out of eight toggle flip-flops and with the new green LEDs. On the right you can see the green input LED blinking and the eight output LEDs also in green on the left hand side with this beautiful rainbow cable exit exiting the panels which are fed into a splitter and then into the into the program rows of course Uh, it's quite windy in my flat, so uh, please be careful. Now I changed the frequency and now I'm zooming into the output LEDs, which are quite fast. And the beautiful modules are seen from the side. And the input LED is very fast now. Now I stopped it and I'm, I made the input signal by hand so you can go through every single line step by step. Now we can see the panels from the front side which are packed full of MOSFETs and resistors and zero ohm bridges of course. And now I change the on cycle and the off cycle of the input signal with with the Arduino. So you you hardly can see the off. Now I change it a bit bit slower, just for fun.
I had this white on the right side, the right cable is the input signal and if the black cable is one the, this program counter switches to the address which is laid on the right rainbow cable it's an 8-bit input address and then the program counter counts away from this address this was actually quite hard to implement but now I have it and I'm quite happy about it yeah now let's finish the cycle and then the video is is end that so see you next time